and welcome everyone. Today I want to create a panoramic image out of those shots. I am also going to post process this panoramic image to give it a bit more dramatic look. So the first thing I'm going to do is select all the images I want to have in the panorama and simply merge them in Lightroom. Now, if you want to fill the blank space you can see at the border of the image, you can use this rather new function called Boundary Warp. What it does is it's simply filling up the gaps automatically, so you don't have to worry about them. This is what the panorama image looks like now, and I can start editing it. Like always, I'm going to adjust the camera calibration first. I'm going with the landscape profile because it um, separates the colors the best in my opinion. And I'm also going to check the lens correction options I got here. The next thing I want to adjust is the sky because it's really, really bright. Therefore, I'm going to use a graduated filter and just reduce the highlights quite a bit. I am not sure what's going on in this corner right here, but I am going to try to fix it. Again, I'm using a graduated filter and I'm downing the exposure a bit. I also want to give this guy a bit more of contrast, so I am going to push it. I am going to add more contrast to this guy in Photoshop later for now. And there are quite a lot of sensor spots you can see here. I am simply going to remove them with the spot removal tool. Therefore you simply choose the tool and click on the spots you want to remove. Then I am going to decrease the overall highlights. And I am going to increase the shadows a bit. And I also want to add a bit of clarity. Now I think the center area of this image is a bit too dark, so I'm going to use a radial filter. And then I'm going to increase the exposure. Then I want the lower part of the image to be a bit darker, so I'm going to apply another graduated filter. And just decrease the exposure a little bit. I am also going to add a bit of vibrance and I am going to decrease the saturation of the green color tones but I am going to increase the yellow ones and maybe also the orange. Now this waterfall here looks kind of blue, so I'm going to decrease the saturation of the blue tones. And I might also increase the luminance of the yellow color tones. I'm also going to sharpen it a bit, but not too much this time. Then like always I'm going to mask out areas which I don't need to be sharpened. Now it looks kind of uneven to me, so I'm trying to adjust that. And I'm also going to cut off a bit of the right image part here. Okay, I am finished with the Lightroom process for now. Um, that means I'm going to export it and, and continue editing it in Photoshop. Okay. Uh, the first thing I want to do is get rid of the lower part here because it's kind of bothering me right now. So I'm using the crop tool. You can press C to select it. 
I don't like how this left area here is so bright so I'm going to apply an overlay layer therefore I'm creating a new layer and fill it with 50% gray and set the blending mode to overlay then I'm going to choose a dark color and use my brush tool and brush over this bright area here and I'm also going to decrease the opacity of the layer. Once I have finished this, I can start editing with the nick collection effects. What I want to add first is the polarization effect. Therefore, I'm going to up the strength quite a lot. As you can see, it brings out the colors more. Now I don't like what this effect does to the waterfall. So I'm going to mask out this area. Then I'm going to apply the next Nick Collection filter. Like I said before, I wanted to add a bit more of contrast in the sky. So I'm going to do that with the Pro Contrast filter. Now as I only want the upper part to be affected by the contrast filter, I am going to mask out the lower part of the image. Now I've noticed a bunch of new sensor spots, which I'm going to clear with the spot healing brush. Actually I want to apply a little bit of Indian summer filter, because I don't think um, the green tones are fitting for this image. I am also going to apply a darken light and center filter. This way I can set where the viewer will be looking first when he sees my image. So basically I'm going to um, reduce the border luminosity which makes borders darker. And in the center of the image, everything gets brighter. Now I'm going to apply a bit more of overall contrast. Therefore, I'm going to duplicate my layer. And I'm going to set the blending mode of the new layer to overlay. And reduce the opacity to something around 15%. Now I'm going to duplicate the overlay layer. Um, apply a layer mask and fill this one with a black color. Now I'm going to mask our areas in the mountain back here. And then I'm going to increase the opacity. And I also want to mask out areas in the mountain range back here of the first overlay layer. So I'm going to apply another layer mask and mask out areas in the back of the mountain. Now I still don't like how the sky looks, uh, so I'm going to apply a levels adjustment layer. Then I am bringing out some more parts of the darker clouds. And I am also going to bring back some of the highlights. And again, I mask out areas which I don't want to be affected by this layer. Okay, I think I am finished with the shot. I hope this video was helpful for some of you. If you have any questions, just ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.